Hi, and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about how to play the wet, hard bunker shot. So I find myself in a bunker, which I purposely haven't raked. It's wet, hard pan, and it's a difficult shot to play. And it's one that scares a lot of people. So I wanna to talk to you about the conditions that are gonna change and the things we can do to adapt to play this shot. And I'll potentially give you, or I will give you two different options in which to play it. Uh, one people might find simpler to do and one will be a little bit more skillful, let's say. But the main concerns you have is basically when you have hard pan like this is the club is not gonna to want to dig down as much. It, it, when it gets hard, the club will bounce back at you more. So if you hit too much sand before the golf ball, that club will bounce up and hit the ball halfway up quite often. So we need to be a lot more structured and we need to take a little bit less sand. That's the first consideration we're gonna do. So let's start from the beginning. When we come into the bunker with this line like this, we have to feel what the sand is like. Is it hard, is it wet, is it, is it a give? Is there some depth to the sand? If there isn't, then you know, that pretty much tells us how we're gonna play the shot, what room we got, how high is the lip, all these things are considerations. So with this one, I can land it and run it a little bit for sure. So with this kind of sand, there's a bit of give in the wet spots, on the harder spots, there probably won't be. This particular spot where I am, there's a little bit of give. Because there's a bit of give, I can potentially play it fairly normal, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to play it if it was a bit harder, just because that's what I want you to get from this video. So. Let's say, for example, I'm gonna open the face a few degrees to the point to the right of the target. So if I drew a line in the sand, if this helps you, this is gonna point away to the right, about 20 degrees or so. Normal bunk shot might be 30. If it's a short bunk shot, it might be 40. I am then gonna get my ball position. So this ball is literally about one to two inches left to center. Again, normal bunk shot, that might go three to four inches for me. I'm gonna place weight on my lead foot. Okay, pressure and weight on my lead foot, about 60%. Once I've taken my grip, I'm then gonna retake my hold. Again, in a standard bunk shot, I probably would have the handle level with the ball, so slightly more behind than this one. With this one, I'm gonna have the handle probably at the front edge of the ball or just in front. And then from there, I'm gonna try and make sure I hit the line or past the line, certainly not behind the line. again try and nip that ball off and if you look you know and I'll, I'll take a close-up of this you'll see that I have hardly hit any sand at all this side of the line is this side forward which is exactly what I was trying to do okay now the second option for this shot would be to try and pick one more cleanly okay so what we do with that we would play it with a slightly higher handle face slightly open and play it with like a very stiff structured arm view so the ball would be more like a, what I'd call a chip or a chip pitch. I struggle to get distance control with that 100% because it's a shot I very rarely play, but it's still a viable option. So that one we're going to take a little bit of a bruising of the sand, the other one we are going to use the bounce a little bit. And if it become very, very hard pan, I'd go more towards the chip pitch type shot to be safe. If you feel there's a little bit of give in the sand, then by all means play the second version I've shown you, uh, the first version I've shown you, sorry, where we're gonna open the face and play it more normal, but just try and take less sand than normal. It's all about assessing the lie. What can we do from that lie? That's the key thing. That's what the assessment is all about. So that's the bunker shot from a wet hard pan lie. Structured arms, make sure we keep those arms firm through contact. Either play the stiff version or use the face open version, depending on if you think there's a bit of give at all in the sand. If it's wet with give, face open works well for me. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week on a variety of subjects, three times a week. And if you subscribe, it means you won't miss any of the videos for free. Please also post any questions and comments, particularly of any videos you want me to cover in the future. And thank you for watching.